what's up y'all so y'all see it today is a deep conditioning wash day routine and product review so i am trying out ors hair care this is not sponsored i bought it with my own little monies and i'm trying their shampoo conditioner and hair lotion so let's go ahead and hop into it starting off on some dirty hair very very dirty because i haven't washed my hair in like two weeks which is really unlike me so we really about to put the shampoo okay to the test so I'm starting off with that ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo. It was only $5.49 and I found this at my local beauty supply. So let's go ahead and jump into the product deets. Infused with aloe vera, removes product buildup without stripping hair, leaves hair soft and tangle free, can be used as a neutralizing shampoo, which I thought was interesting, and is for natural and relaxed hair. So first impressions, I thought this stuff smelled really good. And as far as all the product details that they, you know, claim on the bottle, I can definitely say yes. Like all of that, yes. <laughs> it's so moisturizing as y'all can see. Like that shampoo is just running through my head like butter girl. And this is my first wash. So it's super lathery. It definitely, you know what I'm saying, sudden your hair up. It's definitely cleaning your hair really good. But it did not like strip my hair at all. My hair was so soft. It was like a shampoo conditioner. Like for real, for real. It was so moisturizing. Smell good. Like I really can't say nothing bad about this shampoo because I absolutely loved it. My hair loved it. Um, Y'all know I've been stretching for like uh, about four months now and I got that new growth. So sometimes it can be hard for me on wash days because I'm dealing with these two textures right now. But this made it so easy. Like my hair was just so, so soft. It was hella moisturized. It was entangly. It was really easy to manage. So y'all, this shampoo definitely gets a thumbs up from me. One thing I really love about ORS is the prices. Like everything I got was under $10. And now we're going to follow up with the ORS Hair Mayonnaise. This was $8.49. And I also found this at my local beauty supply. And here I just wanted to show y'all the consistency, how thick and rich this stuff is. Girl, product dates. Let's get into it. It has nettle leaf and horsetail extract. Don't ask me what horsetail is because I don't know. Also has olive oil, egg protein, and wheat germ. It's an intensive treatment for damaged and weak hair. And it helps to strengthen the hair and y'all first impressions with this oh my god in love i love a heavy conditioner and i can definitely say all the you know product details on the bottle it definitely came in line it definitely was true because uh, so intensive like this was the most effective deep conditioner i've used in a long time it coated my hair so good which i love to see i love how this conditioner just sunk into my hair strands so heavy so creamy so detangling just Girl, saturated my whole entire life. And another thing, this product smells really good. I don't think I mentioned that. But all of these ORS products, honey, they got a really nice scent, which I love. So I'm just putting all my hair up into a plastic cap. And we're about to go ahead and jump into deep conditioning. Y'all know we couldn't deep condition without a little T or J, just raggediness. So, yeah, how do you deep condition? Um, without plugging it up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let, let's get this together first plug let's plug it in first so let's take two okay plugged in and we ready to go so um i like to deep condition under my hooded dryer and here are just some deep conditioning benefits it infuses that conditioner deeply into your hair it smooths the cuticle it prevents dryness and breakage it prevents split ends and girl you get to catch up on your favorite show that's my favorite part about deep conditioning i'll just be sitting under there for a whole 30 minutes just watching a good show i was watching uh the solid fam <laughs> here on youtube but yes deep conditioning is a must i need to start doing this every single week because deep conditioning is really important for my hair because i am still going through a little bit of postpartum shedding and dryness and you know breakage and all of that so deep conditioning is something i definitely definitely need to stay caught up on i really want to get a steamer again because honestly i used to steam like i had the hooded steamer i just have to get another one because steaming also is a great way to deep condition your hair i honestly think it's better than the hooded dryer so i'm definitely gonna be getting me a steamer soon but you know deep conditioning at least once a week maybe even once every two weeks is so 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 beneficial for your hair all i hear is Right here makes me want to just sing, baby. Y'all. 
This conditioner make my heart, not my heart, not my heart. Scratch the heart, scratch it. That's surface level. This made my soul happy. I should have recorded me rinsing this out because it was just like, just butter. I desperately needed this deep treatment. And what I like about this is for damage and weak hair infused with nettle leaf, horsetail, um, nettle leaf and horsetail to nourish while olive oil, egg, protein and wheat germ oil help restore damage and depleted hair so it got that protein in it honey but it's so moisturizing that's why i really don't like protein treatments i just feel like i don't know i just i'm not a big fan of the afoji protein treatments like they work good i know you need them especially for chemically treated hair but i would definitely prefer a moisturizing like creamy protein treatment and y'all this <laughs> Girl, I feel like I got all my protein and then some, okay? Because my hair is feeling so, so good. Let me adjust this camera real quick so y'all can see. There we go, okay, focus on the hair, honey. So I actually kept my deep conditioner on all day. Like, I didn't mean to. I ran out of time and then I had to jump into my mogul, pick my kids up, yada, yada. And then the whole day just went by. I went to sleep, didn't feel like doing it. And now I'm here today, finally rinsed it out. So I got a whole day's worth of deep conditioning. I really don't like to do that because I don't like sleeping in plastic caps. Ugh. But here we are. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Y'all know these um, turban hair towels I like? Guess where I got this from? Just guess. Real quick, not Walmart, not Target. Not no Marshalls, not nothing else. Girl, the Dollar Tree, mm-hmm, she sure was a dollar. I'm about to go pick me up some more too because I love these turban towels. Dollar Tree is the plug, y'all. This is my hair after the conditioning treatment. It's so hydrated, like, oh my God. Even my roots, my natural hair growing in is so soft and hydrated, like. This conditioner is definitely going on my staple list. Like, girl. Now I am, I haven't been counting, but I want to say I'm about three and a half. Hold on y'all, this is too bright. Why are you giving me so much light? Where's my melanin? Thank you. And hold on y'all, I'll be right, I need some on my lips. I'm going to use my Styles by Dreas, the black owned business plug. Styles by Dreas, lippy lippy gloss. And she was telling me she got some new labels, but I was like, girl, these labels is cute. Anyway, back to the hair. Oh, it's been four months, girl. So yeah, it's really almost been four months since I had a relaxer. So y'all definitely can see my new growth coming in. My hair has been growing so good. Y'all please stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna share with y'all some hair growth tips and products that I've been doing and using. And y'all, my hair has been growing like crazy. Like, look at all that new growth. So yeah, that conditioner has my hair feeling so, so, so good. I'm about to blow it out. I was gonna let it air dry, but with all this new growth, like I, girl, we about to blow it on out, okay? So I have my leave-ins I'm about to put in. I'm actually continuing with the ORS. I'm using the olive oil, oil moisturizing hair lotion. Y'all know this is an OD because I remember having this like back in the day, like when I was a little girl and used to get relaxers and my mama would use this or pink oil or something like that. But it's got like a little new spin on it. They infuse it with castor oil and all of that. And I like this stuff. I actually been using this for like the past week and I really, really like this stuff. It's so moisturizing, but it's not like heavy. Y'all see in just a minute. This will be my first time using it on like freshly washed um hair so we'll see how it does and this keratin green tea and constructor y'all already know this is one of my faves so yeah let me go ahead and put my leave-ins in and we gonna get this hair blown out
deep conditioner is on this comb. And I just combed my freshly You know it's it's too late now. Ain't ain't no eating. Y'all can see that oil moisturizing lotion, honey. This is my new favorite stuff when it comes to cream. Like y'all, last video when I was doing my lock and seal, I used that Aussie Mega Moist. I'm throwing that away. I'm throwing it away because honestly, that that's just not meant for me. Like y'all see how disloyal I am. Listen, honey, I am a product hopper, and when I find what works, what I really really like, I'm like done with what didn't work. Okay, so I'm replacing that Aussie Mega Moist. I feel like that's more of like a it's just too like watery but this is more like cream like thick you know what i'm saying like i love love this stuff y'all can see it did not weigh my hair down as opposed to that aussie mega moist i feel like it does make my hair like a little greasy it's really meant for curls like leave-in conditioner for curls because it literally says on the container curls so i think this oil moisturizing lotion is definitely more of my speed more for relaxed hair and y'all look at that it's still nice and flowy, okay. I am really, really, really feeling the ORS, like, and my God. That was a quick little like moisturizing and sealing with, um, you know, the lotion, then I followed up with my argan oil, y'all. I think I'm gonna stick to this too, being my oil. Y'all seen that coconut oil? I just do not like heavy stuff on my hair. Honestly, my hair flourishes when it's like this. When my hair is moisturized, but it can still like be, manageable and flowy and just I don't know I just work with my hair better when it's nice and flowy I hate hair that's like weighed down and greasy so I think this right here is gonna be my new moisture and sealing combo because baby my hair is feeling great and it ain't greasy okay I have to give that ORS I gotta give him a hand clap and for this for the hair mayonnaise I have to take I literally have to take a bow for that stuff because oh my god I'm so excited to add ORS hair care products into my regimen because these are some staple items like this moisturizing cream and this conditioner this this mayonnaise right here honey these are definitely gonna be a staple item for me like on my TLC days like when I really need to get my hair together that hair mayonnaise is definitely gonna come to the rescue for protein moisture all of that I am in love, in love with ORS. I'm so glad I tried it. I've been seeing ORS like so many, um, my hands ashy, hold on. Y'all could have told me my hands was ashy. But anyway, a lot of relaxed girls have been using the ORS product, so I had to jump on the train. I had to see what it was all about. I remember olive oil from back in the day. Like I said, I remember the hair lotion. I remember the relaxers and everything. But of course they have like revamped, rebranded and all of that. You know, done more so like the natural castor oil, putting more of like herbal stuff or olive oil, stuff like that in their products. I don't ever remember, girl, my hair feeling this good when I was a kid and a teenager using <laughs> olive oil. But yes, girl, yes, RS is definitely added <laughs> to Tierra J's staple product list. Definitely a recommendation, natural and relaxed, because like I said, I am natural and relaxed right now because I got the natural roots and I got the relaxed ends, okay? So both of my hair, both, they say, they agreeing, they don't want a cord. Y'all battle with the natural and relaxed. Ain't no battle this way. They both is happy, okay? So if you have any more products you'd like to recommend me, I am on my product hopping journey, so I'm willing to try you know more things because I am honestly finding what is sticking. I have found some stuff that stick, but I am willing to like try some more things and see what sticks for my hair. If y'all got some other products that y'all think is great for relaxed hair, make sure to let me know and I will try them. If you want me to review a certain product, 
make sure to let me know i would definitely do that i hope y'all here for these product reviews natural hair not natural hair girl you is not team natural no more relax hair okay relax hair series make sure to thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you ain't subscribed boo and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace out